Hi you guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to go over every single eyeshadow palette I own as of right now, which is August 1st, 2020. And I'm hoping to uh, not buy any eyeshadow palettes for a long time because I have about four drawers worth. And my plan right now is to show you all of them and then make a list and we are going to do like a sort of pan that palette throughout the year series because not many of these have I hit pan on. So I want to go over them with you. So let's get started. So what you just saw was the uh, first drawer worth of palettes that I have. And so we're going to start with the very big ones. This is from Profusion. It's their Velvet Matte palette. And I actually really like this palette. I am not quite sure if they sell it anymore. Um, let's see. Yeah. I got this actually at Marshall's for like seven bucks. And it's one of the best matte palettes I own. So if you're able to find it, um, go ahead and grab it. There's a lot of, it's a mixture of cool and uh, warm nudes. I really like it. It's super soft. Um, let's see if I can just get a variety. It is just, I'm going to swatch some on me. Ignore my fingernails. I had red polish on the other day. They're super soft and they work really well and they're a little patchy, but that's what you get with mattes, you know, sometimes. So it's a really good palette. So next up I have Temptress by Profusion. And I also got this at Marshall's too, which I believe they still sell this one. This one's a mixture of bright colors. I'm actually excited to use this. I think I've used it one time and it worked really, really nicely for me. Um, there are some colors in here I don't normally use, which is awesome because I wanna throw myself into colors that I don't normally use, especially since we're locked at home for whoever knows how long. Look at that. that I literally swapped my swiped my finger into it like two or three times. We're gonna... I didn't want to swatch all of them. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, okay. Yep. This, I'm excited for this one. Okay. The next up, my other big palette in the first drawer is this uh, Lorac, Lorac, Lorac Mega, uh, Mega Pro 4. And I actually got this on sale um, at NordstromRack.com. If you don't know, Nordstrom Rack has a website where they list um, makeup that they sell and sometimes it gets updated it depends on the time of the year um, I got this right literally they listed it and then they marked it down almost immediately I check that website maybe once a week because sometimes they have little um, oh I still have the plastic in it sometimes they have uh, amazing things that they only list for a few minutes before it sells out it's a little dirty from shipping the black sparkles. So this one's a bit on the cool side. Um, I've used it once or twice. Obviously it doesn't look like it's used a lot. Um, hopefully that'll change. Um, I'm not used to wearing pinks and stuff like that and this one kind of leans towards the cool end which I'm more on the warm side. If you hear my husband mowing the lawn I am very sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to use this considering I got it at a very good price. I want to say I paid like 12 bucks for it and they still sell it now I believe for full price at normal places. So check out um, NordstromRack.com because you never know what they'll post. So then I have these individual little drawers and I'm trying to keep it organized because they're all organized in my drawers. I actually took photos before I pulled the first drawer out just so I remember how to put it back in. Um, and these are just the pamphlets for some of the shadows. This is the Tardist Pro Go from Tarte. I bought this off of Reddit on the makeup, oh, sorry, it's shiny, on the makeup exchange site. And this is amazing. If you have a chance to get it, I believe they still sell it, get it because it, this, I'm gonna, I told myself I wouldn't swatch. This palette is fantastic. Let's see if I can ignore my fingernails. Oh my God, look at that. It's just, it's fantastic. And it's perfect size for on the go. You you can get like four or five looks out of this. Oh, see, I'm getting excited for this challenge, you guys. Um, next up is the Too Faced A La Mode Eyes. I don't think they sell this anymore. This is another Reddit post. Um, Reddit Makeup Exchange actually is a really great subreddit where you can buy uh, new or gently used and it's always sanitized. Um, and you can trust the history of the people because you can go back into their... Um, 
previous sales and see if they're, you know, if they're good sellers and whatnot. And I really was lusting after this one just because that bright red. I don't wear a lot of reds or a lot of pinks, um, but I really, really wanted to try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I'm excited for that. This is the White Peach, which smells super nice. It's just a gorgeous palette. I used it a few times. This is kind of exactly my um, skin tone, so it doesn't show up. I thought I was being smart using it as a transition shade, and I was not. So I'm excited to use this. This is the Tartlet in Bloom. My, I'm not going to tilt it a lot because my funny girl broke on the way to my house and I just didn't feel like paying to ship it back. So I'm excited to use this. I haven't used it a ton because again, that shade broke. So I haven't wanted to touch it, which is kind of useless. It's just sitting here. I'm not using it, you know? So next up, I have Natasha Denona's mini Layla palette which I also bought on uh, Reddit, and it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I want all of her mini palettes. Look at that, and it's like the size of my hand. It's so tiny. I'm super excited. And then I have these singles from Essence, which are all fantastic. I don't know if I should include them in my Pan That Palette series or not. Let's see, do I have a free finger? That doesn't, look at that. Can I? Oh my God, that is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And then there's this red one. I don't know if I wanna include it because they're so much bigger than um, the average pan in an eyeshadow, but I bought three and I really wanna buy more because when I bought the three, they were on sale and I just wanted to try them out. And I think they had three or four more and I was so impressed with them that I wanna buy more before you know they discontinue it. Essence almost always discontinues good stuff, except for their mascara. So I want to buy more before they like discontinue everything. So I'm going to put this back in here now. And I have this other one. And this is the last container in my first drawer. This first one is the Milani uh, Most Love Mattes. Let's see if I can open it. Ooh, don't get blinded. Again, hardly used because I got this right before COVID hit, of course, you know. Then I have the Too Faced, what do they call this one? Sparkling Pineapple. And this has been kind of used. I'm not fully sure how to use this. I know that sounds dumb because like that's a look and like that's a look and that's a look, but like I need to use it more, especially the duochrome green and this one over here. I need to just figure out how to use it. Um, I think I could pan at least this one or this one and it... I'm excited because it also smells really good. <laughs> then there is a Violet Voss Creme Brulee, which could easily be panned in my Pan That Palette series, which should be coming up soon. This is just gorgeous. These are just... I don't want to keep dipping my fingers in, but... Oh man, I'm gonna close it real quick so we can... Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this one's really, really pretty and it has this pop of pink, which I need to start using um, because I'm excited to use this and I hardly use pink and I wanna learn how to use pink. So then I also have Violet Voss Holy Grail Fun Sized, yay. This one's just a really cute palette. I had to pick it up because I love the warm nudes and on the top here. Then I have the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series, which it still has the plastic. I guess I could get rid of that. I used once or twice. Oh, the mirror still has the little mirror cover on it. Um, I am excited for this one because of that green right over here and this plum berry. And I've seen people use it and they loved it too. So I'm excited. I hope I get to use this soon in the Pan That Palette series. Then right here, <laughs> this is a palette. I don't even know if it has a name. It's It was a Secret Santa gift at work I got this past holiday, which was like six months ago. So who knows? It says Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Eye and Cheek Palette in Glam. And on the back, they don't have names. They just go eyeshadow one, eyeshadow two, eyeshadow three. 
just counting them down. And then the Pure Color Envy Sculpting Blush in Pink Intrigue is at the end. So I don't know if I'll ever use that blush. Look how bright that blush is. Can I, can I dip my, I'm gonna dip my pinky. So that's, that's, oh, I don't know if I'll ever use that. <laughs> it's too, too, maybe. If I soften it out, it's pretty soft. Um, we can take the plastic out of that. Sorry, you're seeing my phone. Um, so yeah, this was just a secret Santa gift that uh, a coworker got me and I'm excited if you see me, hi. Um, I'm excited to use it. The pans are really tiny. And when I got it, I was like, oh, that's awesome because I could actually take this on um, traveling. At the time we all thought, you know, we're traveling. Um, now we're in lockdown, but um, I'm excited to try it out. Hey, that was me. I'm excited to try this out and give it a try. This was one of those free gift with purchases um, sort of things. So she buys a lot of Estee Lauder from a department store and I guess her friend works there and gave her this and she gave it to me because she wasn't going to use it. So it was really nice of her. So next up I have all of my, oh, all of my Huda Beauty. I cannot afford to get the big palettes. <laughs> So I invested in a few of these tiny ones. So this is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. Really cute. I love mauves. I love smoky eye. This is definitely my jam. Then Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions. Again, I want to start using reds. I think dark reds would look really good on my, with my eye color and whatnot. Then Amethyst Obsessions, which I want to start using purple too. So pinks, purples, and reds are things I tend to shy away from. I tend to stay with nudes um, because I'm worried that they will make me look like I'm sick or something or I have pink eye. But I think if I go with a dark enough purple like this or this one or even that one, it'll look really good with my eye color because I have hazel eyes and purple is supposed to make them pop. So I got that. I got this one for that specific reason. And then I have Worm Brown Obsessions, which again, I love browns. That's the main thing I wear. <laughs> and I haven't even, I don't even think I touched this one. Look at that. It's like perfectly clean. Oh my God. You guys, I have a spending problem, I think. I buy all these palettes and then I never touch them because I'm scared it won't look good. And then I just want to look at it and I'm scared of ruining the, the package. And so this is I Heart Revolution Rose Gold Chocolate. They still sell this one, even though they said they were discontinuing it. Um, and this is a perfect travel palette because look how tiny. Um, and it's a good palette. I've actually used it a few times, although you can't tell it cleans up pretty nicely, but it is a really good palette. And I got it on sale for like five bucks. They sell it pretty cheap, obviously, because it's a mini palette. But if you get your hands on it, I would suggest if you like this color range um, that you should get it specifically to try it out and to travel with. So. That is the rose gold chocolate. And then lastly from the top shelf is the Smashbox Cover Shot Prism Eye Palette. Um, let me cover the mirror. So this is a pretty interesting palette. I haven't used it too often even though it does look like I have. Um, I am still working and learning how to use this. Um, I need to view some tutorials and get a better idea because there's some colors in here that I just, I don't fully know like this one and this one and this black, how to fully use. And I need to just step out of my comfort zone. I need, I need, I know I keep saying that, but I really do need to step out of my comfort zone with that. So with that, that is my last palette from the top shelf. I will be right back with the second shelf. So this is palette drawer number two. And it's all just these stackable things. There's nothing too, too big that doesn't fit. So let's start with this first one right here. My puppy just walked in and joined us. So the first one we have is this Alamar, Alamar, I might be saying that very incorrectly, Cosmetics Palette. And it's the Rena del Cabre, Volume 1. And I want to make sure, yep, there's no mirror. So this is a gorgeous palette. Um, I just got this the other day and I swatched it for the first time. I'm going to hold it like this. And it is amazing. I'm excited because this is going to make me some incredibly wild looks, which I'm excited about trying. Even the mattes are just so pretty. So I'm excited to use this one. Next up, 
If you hear my puppy, she's shifting around in the guest bed trying to make a nest for herself. Next up is this uh, Hot Hot Heat by LA Girl. And this is the Aloha Vibes. They print the name in the back, the names of the colors in the back, but also the palette name is way down here. So Aloha Vibes, and there's a giant mirror, so I'm gonna try and block that out for you. They also give you this plastic cover with the names on it, which I hate these plastic covers, so I might just toss that. Um, isn't this gorgeous for LA Girl? Is it LA Girl? Wait, yeah, LA Girl. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my God, look at that green. Look at that blue. <laughs> just all these colors are just phenomenal. They still sell this. I know for a fact on the website, even though they said it was limited edition, so you can still pick this up if these colors um, look interesting to you and the quality, the quality is just, look at that. Here, let's see if I can swatch it. Look at that. Sorry, it's I'm at a weird angle. Oh my God. Yeah, you, it, this palette is amazing. It is on the pricier side for LA Girl. You know, they're known for being lower end drugstore, um, but these I think are about 10 to $15, but they are so worth the investment. Um, so this one's Aloha Vibes. This one is the second one. They had two eyeshadow palettes and I believe two blushes, and then they've also released an addition uh, to, for, I think it was this past, fall, like last fall maybe, two eyeshadows and two palettes in the same sort of vein and theme of this. But this is their second Hot Hot Heat, and this one is Vacay Every Day. I wish we had Vacays now. Sorry, I just pushed the palette. And this one also has the plasticky thing. Let's see if I can get... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. So this is more of a pinky sort of vibe, pink and purple. Very warm. Look at that copper. This is another palette. These two palettes are other palettes. I wish that I, I hope that I get in my pan that palette coming up soon enough. Um, so there's a little story. The next two I have are these e.l.f. Uh, hot chocolate eyeshadow palettes. I've tried one out. Uh, it didn't really excite me all that much. I feel bad. Um, which, because it did so poorly, uh, I wasn't excited to use the other one and I bought them both. They were on sale and I believe you can still buy them now, I think. So the reason I still have the packaging is because nowhere on this palette or the other one does it say the actual name of the palette anywhere. Look at that. It's like they're old school palettes. They used to come out with those palettes that literally had just the teeny tiny dot with the name, but this doesn't have the dot or doesn't have the name on the dot. It's just a series of numbers. So this one is the, oh my gosh, is it even on here? Spice in teeny tiny letters. And then this one is the sugar in teeny tiny letters. And I think it was the spice that I used that I didn't get very good. I felt like I didn't get very good looks out of it. I kind of regret buying them, but I'm gonna use them because I bought them. And I think once I get a hang of the shadow workings, I'll be able to use them. Look at that bright orange. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Yep. Just this dot that doesn't mean anything to me. I might use my label maker <laughs> and put on there what this is. So this one I think I'll have better luck with. Um, these are shadows I know how to work with, whereas the other ones are a little bit different. Um, so I'm excited to at least try it. And if I don't like it, then I'll declutter it and give it to a friend or something like that. Or I don't know, but I'm definitely going to use my label maker for these. So that's the first little holder. The second holder has this, oh, sorry guys, has this Rendezvous, Rendezvous palette from ColourPop. And the names are on the back. And then the names are also on the front, but you can't really read them. Can you guys kind of see them a little bit? Yeah. So I'm excited to use this one. I've used it a little bit. You can see me, huh? hey. Um, I love this copper, sort of red copper. This blue is amazing. This bright, bright gold. I'm excited to use this one. This is definitely fall vibes and, and you know, it's August 1st, like I said, so I can start using this one. Um, next up, we're just going to do my color pops. I have brown sugar, which I'm, I'm so excited to have. It's a little creaky. Sorry, guys. 
these, this is my color story right here, you know, <laughs> all browns, all nudes, a pop of gold, a pop of dark. Oh no, this one's coming out. Oh no, it's coming out of the holder. Well, hopefully it doesn't break. Okay. I'll be extra sensitive with it, but I'm excited. I've used it a few times. It's a really nice palette. I don't know if they still sell it. I don't think so. Maybe they do. But it's a really nice, if you want a brown, it's it's a really nice, it's a really nice palette. I vote you just get it because it's really good, even if you don't like browns. Next up is Birds of Paradise. I have not used this one or the next one. So it still has the uh, paper in it, which I can throw away. Birds of Paradise is more of an orangey, nudish, pinky, warmish <laughs> palette. It just struck me by surprise because I don't normally like this color I wouldn't normally wear it that's a really bright gold yellow I wouldn't normally wear but I'm excited to try it out with these other colors like I think once I get a hang of it it'll be a great palette to use and I got it on sale it was on super sale oh here's the names did they have the names I didn't even look oh yeah the names are on the palette sorry I'm standing to the side of my phone which I'm recording on so it might lean towards this way but so yeah, the names are on the back and on the front. This next palette I haven't used and I also bought it on sale. Um, this is the Anna Frozen 2 palette. And the names are on the back, which yeah, there you go. I just got it because I, I know it sounds stupid, but I love Frozen. I haven't seen Frozen 2, but it just caught my fancy. I don't think I'll use the glitter because that freaks me out, but the other colors, I'm excited about using some of these purples are just gorgeous and then these nudes are just super nice so I'm excited to use that and then lastly in this second drawer is the peanut butter and jelly Too Faced palette so peanut butter jelly time this is sort of my color story like if you took away the purple like let's see if I can do it with my camera being yeah Look at that, it's just all nudes, which is ex which is exactly what I love to wear. And I need to jump out of my comfort zone here and wear other stuff, but I'm excited to uh, put this in the pan, that palette. So last drawer, I have these bigger ones. So, uh-oh, you know what? We'll start with this one. This is the uh, Nubian Mini. I don't know if that's the full name, but Nubian by uh, Juvia's Place, and it's, let me make sure there's no mirror, no mirror. I've used this once or twice. I wasn't super wowed by it, and I was surprised because I like um, the other palettes I have by them, but for some reason, some of these just sort of blend away, which I don't know why, um, but I'm willing to give it another try. This is a great palette for travel because it's small, but the pans are like big, like it's bigger than my thumb. So this is a great travel palette because you can get multiple looks, but it's small enough, but you could take it traveling, you know, on a longer trip if need be. So I'm excited for that. This is the Revolution palette, which I think does have a mirror in it. This is Revolution Courage Wild Animal palette. I wanted to buy a few of these, but oh yeah, it has a giant mirror. Okay. So I was thinking about buying a few of these when it came out, thinking I would do a review. But then I realized Revolution comes out and discontinues so many of their palettes that I might as well just buy ones I think I will use. So I bought this one thinking I would use it and I haven't used it. I swatched it and it's amazing. As you can see, the color story is just fantastic with this one and the patterns on the individual pans are just gorgeous. Um, so I'm excited to use this one a bit more. Sorry, the whole top is a mirror. I don't want to blind you, but the whole thing is a mirror. It's made really well. This next one is a BH Cosmetics uh, Love in London, which let me make sure there is a mirror. Okay. This is a great, cool eyeshadow palette. I actually have used it once or twice and I loved it. I think they still sell this one. So if you are a cool eyeshadow user, go ahead and get this one. I liked this one better than the, was it the spice? Than the spice, and the spice is a little bit reminiscent colors. 
Um, I will say that BH is a little bit more expensive than they used to be, so you, you want to be kind of committed, but I loved it. So I'm excited to use that one. This is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. Whoa. And I love this one. I don't want to, I don't want to swatch every palette, but look at that. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Let me put this down so I can like really swatch for you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. I know it's coming off brighter for you guys, but for me, it's like a plum that turns orangey and it's kind of plummy, but it's a little bit pinky on camera that I can see. Oh my gosh. My arm is just full of swatches now, but look how pretty. Um, these pans, I'm a little worried when I do pan that palette. Don't worry. That is not mold that's from another color um because they are humongous and I am worried that I won't be able to pan something this enormous or I'll get like this orange or yellow which I don't really use that much um and I don't know how to wear orange and yellow you guys uh but I guess I better learn if I get it this one's the tribe by Juvia this one's amazing too oh my gosh you can kind of see me hey I love this palette. I love this gold and this copper and the blue was just fantastic. So the last palette in drawer two is this Desert Oasis. Sorry, it's blinding you. Let me make sure there's no mirror. There is a mirror and there's a plastic which we can throw out. I lusted after this palette for a long time, probably a year and a half because Tati did a review a long time ago on it and talked so highly about it and I was like I'm gonna get that palette and then it was never on sale because you know Tati made it best selling for them and then finally after the hype died down they put it on sale and I was able to get it and it's just gorgeous and I haven't used it yet and I want to use it so I'm hoping that it comes up in my pan that palette so I can pan it <laughs> so boom it is, I just, it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. It's just, oh my gosh. And the shimmers, I don't want to keep swatching stuff, but oh my God, look at that. Let's see if I can, I'm going to put that down. Let's see if I can, mm, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's drawer two. Let me put all this away and I'll pull out drawer three. This is my third drawer. And as you can see, there are lots of wet and wild. I'll move everything aside. We'll start with those. Whoa. So some of these are wet and wild. Some of these are black radiance. And if you don't know Wet n Wild and Black Radiance are owned by the same people. I think they use the same factories. As you can tell, they obviously use the same packaging. I mean, these are exactly the same. If I didn't tell you that this was from Black Radiance, you wouldn't be able to tell which one is which, you know. Um, I bought a lot of these when they were reformulated. I had the old school kind. And then I got more into makeup and more into makeup and I kind of moved away and then they reformulated and I was like, why not buy them all? And they're just sitting in my drawers unused and I feel bad about it because I spent a lot of my own money on these and I want to use them, especially the Black Radiance because they are actually really good quality. This is Downtown Browns. Ow, I just pinched my finger downtown browns it's actually gorgeous and for a drugstore you can't beat these prices i mean they're literally they're just i think they're like these might be like four dollars and they're cheap feeling you know this is a pedal pusher this is wet and wild see the only difference in packaging it says wet and wild right here and this one has a br if you can see it just made into the plastic. So this is Petal Pusher. And I want to get back into these because they still make them. And I want to support Wet n Wild and Black Radiance and tell them to continue to make these affordable ones. Oh, we can throw this out. That's, yeah. I don't even, oh my gosh. So this one is uh, po Posh Plums. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. And then the other big one is Comfort Zone. I can't remember if this is their redo or 
yeah, this is like my third buy of that one. Naked Truth. And then some of these I haven't even opened. I feel retro, haven't even opened it. Wait, did I open it? Yeah, I did. Didn't use it because the dinky brush is still there. I just, yeah, this one's definitely not open. Look at that. I get sunburned. Don't steal my thunder. Not even opened. Cool as a cucumber. Not opened. I dream of Jeannie. I just feel so bad if I'm not going to use them. I need to either get rid of them or give them away. Yeah, I just feel bad for wasting my money, but I would love to use them. I just get intimidated or, yeah. <laughs> so on to the next drawer. We have this one, which might I might need to just toss because this one's mega old. This is Champagne Dreams from the rack. And this was a tiny, tiny palette that they came out with a few years ago. That I bought one for me and one for my mom because the reviews are so good. And it's just really old. I don't know if it's even still good. Um, this is kind of my tiny drawer. Oh, sorry guys. That fell. My tiny palette drawer. This is the Lorac Super Mini. It doesn't even have a name. 4099i. <laughs> and this one has a teeny tiny mirror. And this is great for travel if you're okay with sort of one kind of look. Then I have this teeny tiny smash box that they give you for free with purchase. And this is the Cover Shot Smoky Eyeshadow Duo. Teeny tiny and has a little tiny mirror. I've actually used this before and it's really nice. This is Clinique, again, free with purchase that I got. Strawberry Fudge Duo. This is really nice. I've actually tried it. It's really nice. I'm debating about getting rid of this one too because I've had it for so long. This is uh, NYX's Love in Paris and I bought it because, shocker, it was on sale and I apparently don't have any impulse control. These are colors I don't wear often. I haven't even, I don't even think I've used it. Gosh. That's why I'm going to start this Pan This Palette series so I can actually use these things. This is an old school elf prism in Naked. See? These have names on the back, naked, and it has a mirror. I've used these a few times. I like them. They're not mind-blowing, but they're pretty good. This one's cracked from usage, probably. So, yeah. Then this one is Sunset in the Prism palette. I haven't really used this one at all. This is because um, the color is such a bright gold. And then that pink. But I'm going to jump out of my comfort zone for the Panda palette. This is matte. I actually, uh, Mad for Matte. I think this is the first one. And I actually really like this. I really like this eyeshadow palette. And I think they still make the Mad for Mattes. So if you want mattes that are relatively cheap, I would go with the e.l.f. Mad for Mattes. So let me stack this back in here. Next up, I have this Lorac Mega Pro 3, not the Mega Pro 4. And if you notice, wait, did I already, do I have two of these? Hold on. No, that's the four. <laughs> I was going crazy. For like a split second, I was like, do I have three Mega Pro 3s? No, this is a Mega Pro 3. And I've used it a few times. I believe this was a gift, but it was it's awesome. I, I'm just so scared to use gifts up. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to use this. This is definitely my color story this side. But this is a gorgeous red. So I'm excited to use this one. This is Meet Matador. And I actually got this at a um, Nordstrom Rack in person for like $3. And that's because the black had like messed up the whole pan but it doesn't even look like it just looks like a little bit got out and spreaded but it didn't even crack the pan or anything 
I've used this a few times and I really, really like the formula. I don't hear a lot of people talking about the balm a lot that much anymore, but their mattes are fantastic. So if you see these on sale and this is their color story or any of their other matte palettes, I would say go for it because this has fantastic formula to it. And this is the Too Faced Stardust by Vegas Nay, and it's mega old. I don't even think I should use it anymore because <laughs> it's super old, but it has some pretty colors. I'll have to look up when this was given to me. This was also a gift, but it's gorgeous. That pink is gorgeous. I've, obviously, you can tell I've used that gold a lot. I'm a, I'm a big gold person. Then this next one is Urban Decay's Born to Run, which I also got as a gift from my mother. Mine doesn't seem to have a magnet, which apparently they do come with magnets, but mine doesn't. I mean, so I use a hair tie to keep it closed. I love this palette. I love it. Sorry, I just moved the camera. I love it. I've used it a ton and you can't even tell. But I'm excited to use it more and use colors I haven't used, like these colors on the side, these three, and then these down here. So I'm excited to put this in the Pan That Palette series. I really want to get their mini ones, which I'm not sure if the mini ones have the same colors in them as this or not. I think they're like variants on these, but I'm excited for that. And then I have this naked... Urban Decay Smoky palette, which was also a gift from my mom. Um, I like this palette in terms of this side. I'm not big on smoky eyes as much because I have no place to wear them, but it is a very good nude everyday palette if you focus on these and on these. But then you also have smoky if you need it, you know? So I think it's a really good palette to have. Let me put that back. Then, in the last little drawer, we have Modern Renaissance, also a gift from my mother. I love this palette. It's been well-loved. It's getting up there in age, so I need to use it up quick. I love this palette. It's great. Then I have this one, which is relatively new, the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. It's relatively new to me, so, oops, sorry. I'm excited to get started. I haven't used it yet, but I got it a few weeks ago, so. Then I have the normal Too Faced chocolate bar, which is also well-loved. I hate, I'm gonna keep this one because they don't even print it on the back, and I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> so this has been well-loved too. It doesn't look like it, but that's because I try not to use certain things a ton because I'm worried I'll never be able to buy them again. So I need to use this one up. This one next up is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I was slightly disappointed in the payoff of the colors from this and the second one I think I have, the second one. Yeah, I was slightly disappointed in the color payoff. You have to super duper duper build it up or be okay with something super duper sheer, which is fine. I don't know. I need to use it again. I need to figure out a way to use it for an everyday use because they're gorgeous. It's just, they're so sheer. Um, so that's the first one. And then this is the second one. It's beautiful packaging. I think they're great. It's just, they're mega sheer. So let me put all these up and then we will do the final drawer. So we are on to the final drawer. This first giant one is the Glitter and Glam 24 Eyeshadow Palette from Profusion. I don't think they sell this anymore because again, I got this at <laughs> like TJ Maxx or Marshalls for seven bucks when it originally sold for like 12. But this was the start of them doing really good palettes. Like this was one of their first really good ones and it has so many shades. Here, let me swatch. Like, look at that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My, I told my, sorry, that was loud. I told myself I wouldn't like swatch every single thing. Look at that. It's such a subtle, soft gold, but it's so nice. And the mattes are really pretty in this one too. So I'm excited to use this. 
Then next up, I have these three City Mini palettes, and I bought these when they came out, so they're kind of oldish. This one is the Rooftop Bronzes, which I really, really like and I've used, if you can tell. This one is the Downtown Sunrise. If I can open it, super pretty. And the quality of these are really, really good. And then this one is the City Mini with Shayla, or Shaya? Shayla, I believe, in collaboration. And they didn't come up with a name for it. I think it's just the Shayla palette. And this one's really pretty. The, if I can open it. The gold is really nice. I'm excited to use the other colors if I get that in my pan, that palette. Then next up, I have all of these Makeup Revolutions. Woo! I bought these because they, these four are dupes for the, what are they called? Is it the Naked palettes? Yeah, like the Urban Decay Naked, I believe. Yeah, so they're like one, two, three, yeah, so this is a dupe for one because they call it the Redemption Iconic 1, and this is Iconic 2. So Revolution has no qualms with, you know, taking their color schemes, which honestly I think is okay. I mean, it's a bummer, but people who can't spend that kind of money, I think it's okay for them to go and buy a dupe if, as long as it's good quality. Like, don't rip off people, but you can tell this color scheme. I've used this plenty of times. It's gorgeous. It has a nice payoff. I'm going to stack them back into the holder, so if you hear that. This is the Redemption Iconic 2, which you can tell. Also great payoff. And I got them on sale. They, I believe they still sell them. This is the 3, which I think... I don't know if this is a dupe for modern renaissance or their third one i mean obviously but great color payoff i mean and they still like i said i believe they still sell these and if you get them on a sale oh yeah romantic smoked so this is like so if you get them on sale you can certainly buy all of them at a much cheaper price than you'd spend for one and then this might be my favorite revolution palette of all time um, this is the Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade, which when this came out, it, well, it is a dupe for the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D, now formerly known as KVD, Kindness Vegan, whatever. Um, and at the time, I really wanted the Shade and Light by Kat Von D, but I refused to support Kat Von D. Um, yeah, for things we won't get into. Um. So when Revolution came out with their dupe, I was on top of it. And this is an amazing, amazing palette. It's one of the best matte palettes I have. Um, you could look at this and go, oh, this is mega boring. But then when you start playing with it, you're going to be mind blown. I, I swear. I was like, oh, that looks really boring. And then I saw a bunch of uh, videos of people playing around with it. Um... And it just is so beautiful. And I was like, I have to have it. So I bought it on sale. You need this palette. If you want a straight up matte palette, but you don't want to support KVD, even though she's not involved anymore, get this palette. If you're starting off in mattes and you don't want to do the e.l.f. and you want to do a bigger palette than that, get this palette. ASAP, get it. Because it is so good. Oh. Okay. On to the next holder. Oh, yep. We have more Wet n Wild. <laughs> so this is Cover Girl. Super old. Don't know why I still have it, but I'm going to use it. Still good. This is their new form formatted. Yeah, yeah. See, it's not even open. I have a problem, you guys. This is not a basic peach. Look at that, though. Look at that. That orangey. I have opened this one. This is Rosé in the Air, or Rose in the Air. Rosé. I know this is a dupe for Modern Renaissance, and I bought it for that reason, just to see if it would actually be a dupe, and it kind of is. Not as, you know, good quality, but still good. So yeah, those other ones I have are not the newest ones. I think this is the newest shape of the palette. So I'm going to put that back. 
Then I have these three Milanis. I don't know for sure if they still sell these. These are the Everyday Eyes palettes. Um, they are worth their weight in gold. <laughs> these are actually amazing. And I, I bought these on sale at Target, which I thought they were being discontinued when I bought them, but then I've seen them on sale other places. This is the Earthly Elements. And on the back they have like little pictures and and the shade and what to do with them. Let's see if I can open it. Yep. This is a, sorry, I'm trying not to blind you. This is a fantastic palette. My hands are covered in glitter, but let's see. The mattes are, they're kind of sheer, I won't lie, but they're the kind of sheer that you can build up. They're worth, if this is your color scheme, or if these are your color scheme, these are worth the like 12 bucks I think they are. This is the Must Have Metallics. I don't believe I've used this one yet, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous. And then this one I had, I know I definitely have used Must Have Neutrals. I've definitely used this one. And I was just so blown away by the color payoff by the amount of time it stayed on my eyelids. I mean, I this is just fantastic. For the price, for for the convenience of getting it at like a Target or a Walmart or Walgreens, these are just, these, these you guys need to get if you can. The next two, I have two sleeks, which I don't think I will ever throw out simply for the fact of I bought them in London when I did study abroad. <laughs> Even if they're bad, I, I won't use them if they ever go bad, but I won't throw them out either. This is the original 594, which I know now you can get sleek at like Ulta, but at the time when I bought them, because I went to London in 2012, uh, you could not. Sleek was a UK based, only based at that time. The only problem with these palettes is it takes a lot of strength to get them open. And they do come with these slips with their names. But this is the original. Yep. Look how pretty that is, you guys. That is just gorgeous. That green. <laughs> I know I told myself I would not swatch all of this. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's still good. <laughs> And they have like iconic Britishy names, so like Hyde Park, The Thames, Black Cab, London Eye. So it's just that was like my one goal in England, not my one goal, but my main goal in terms of makeup was to try UK based makeup that I couldn't get in America. So I bought these two palettes. This one is oh so special. And again, it's almost impossible to open these. And this is more of a pink based palette with their Britishy names. I've used this a few times, this one, and it's really nice. It's really nice neutral palette. So I'll put that down and then we have a few more and then we're done. I have these, sorry if you hear my doggy. I have these from, these three from Bad Habit, which I did a video on a long time ago. This is Athena, which is a dupe for uh, a Huda palette, I believe, or Deta Natasha Denona. Arabesque palette. Sorry about the mirror. I'm sorry about my dog. And then the Luna palette. These are great quality. I'm not sure if Bad Habit is open anymore. I know the website I got it off is closed, so Bad Habit might actually not be around anymore. Um, but I'm still going to use them because I like them, and I refuse to pay the money for Natasha Denona because <laughs> her stuff's expensive. This is Model Zone, which is a defunct company. They do not sell products anymore, which is a bummer because I like this palette a lot. This is the Barely There 2. I believe you can still buy Model Zone at like TJ Maxx. This is a gorgeous neutrals palette. Look at this. It's absolutely, if you can find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, get your hands on them because they're quality products. And I don't know what happened to their company. I don't know if they just went bankrupt or got sold to some other place, but it's a great, great palette. 
Then I have the Maybelline Soda Pop. I don't have that much Maybelline. I have a few. I love the Soda Pop palette. I want the Lemonade one, which I believe they still sell, even though they called both of these limited edition, um, and they're not. I've used this a bunch of times. You can't even tell other than in this, like, gold. All of these are fantastic. All of them. All of them, all of them, all of them. Um, if you can find it, buy it. It's worth the price. I think I paid like 11 bucks, 10 bucks, maybe a little bit more, but it's worth it. This palette is really, really nice. And then my last two that I have are these from LA Colors. I have not opened them fully or swatched them yet. Um, they still have the dinky little brushes. I got these at a grocery store called High V in my area. They just looked super intriguing. And I want to do a video because they were like four bucks. And if they're actually good quality and you guys can still buy them. Yeah, let me get the dinky little brush out of here. Then that might be a good alternative to some of these high-end ones. Because the rose one reminds me of Modern Renaissance. and Anything that's like rosy colored. Let's look at the nude again. The nude could be a smoky dupes. Dupe. So yeah, that is it for all of my eyeshadow palettes. I have a lot. I need to count how many. I'll put the total in my uh, pan that palette video that I'm going to do soon. Probably in the next few days I'll post it. So thank you for joining me on this odyssey of looking at all of my eyeshadow palettes and my shopping problem. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want. Have a great day. Bye you guys.